Welcome back to another video guys. It's morning, you know. Today we have heavy chest day. You can call it the beginning of the week. Sometimes I start my week with my back and sometimes I start my week with my chest. But for this week, I'm gonna start it with chest. Today we have heavy weighted dips, heavy inclined barbell, barbell bench pressing. Again, my goal is to uh, eventually be able to incline press three plates, you know. I am training really hard. Yesterday was a rest day. All I focused on, all I focused was eating enough calories and just relaxing, you know, because as I said, my brain tends to not stay turned off. It always stays turned on. It always wants to do something, you know. So I have to like, kind of like tone it down a little bit. So I told myself, let me take a rest day. It's okay. I ended the week really strong. Last week was a good week. Uh, we did good actually last week. For some reason I did so good. Looking forward for this week. Last night my sleep was like a five and a half out of a ten. And I mean I gotta take it. You know I have to. I have to actually look into how I can get more proper and enhance my sleep a little bit more. It's just a, it's just difficult, man. It's so tough, you know, just because you when you have so many things to do during the day. And you only have 24 hours, right? You don't even have 24 hours. I mean, if you sleep for six hours, then you have like 18, right? So that's something to think about. But yeah, man, today we're gonna go, we're gonna train chest. We're gonna do some triceps. <sighs> Kinda excited, looking forward for the day. It's gonna be a good day, you know? Let's go, let's go train. All right, guys, so today um, I'm kind of disappointed in today's session, even though I broke a rep PR, which was something I was never able to do before on the weighted dips. I had 172 pounds. I ended up doing two sets of two reps. That was That's an all-time PR. I was never able to do that, just so you guys know. Two sets of two reps on the weighted dips, but at the same time, I also did heavy singles on the incline bench. I did uh, 250 pounds on the incline bench, and for some reason, I felt like I could go heavier. Uh, but the reason why I'm disappointed into this session is because I have to cut my session short, you know, because I have to go and pick up my this family stuff, you know, my my mom, whatever. Um, I'm gonna have to go and do some family stuff. I had to cut my session my session in half, basically. All I did was the weighted dips, the incline, and then I went. I did my back offset on my weighted dips, but I still had to do my dumbbell incline, my side delt raises, my triceps. I still have to hit legs as well, actually, but um, I don't like skipping or cutting my workouts in half and half-assing or whatever, you know, I, it just annoys me, it annoys, it, like, excuse my language right now, but it, it annoys the fuck out of me, you know, because you want to go there and train, that's the only time you have for yourself, you know, and then some shit pops up, and <sighs> just kind of disappointed, man, but uh, I guess sometimes you are going to have uh, days like that. You are going to have sessions like that in your life, but um, what am I going to do, right? If anything, I might have to come back tomorrow and, and finish the other half of my session, right? But that's just taking away more time from my day, from my whole entire week, and I can't just go off my program and just go and, like, you know, I might have to come back tomorrow and just do it again, but tomorrow I officially had a, a bad day. I had to do back and biceps, but uh, I guess... And the next day I had rest, but I guess my rest day is going to be so messed up this week. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that I broke an all-time rep PR on the weighted dips. 2x2. Two two. Uh, really good, man. All the all this time, I've been doing a lot of pause reps on the weighted dips as well. And that has been helping me a lot. And my other uh, goal that I have, that I've told you guys, that I want to incline bench three plates. And in order for me to do that, I need to actually train my heavy singles on the incline weighted dips as well today I could have gone heavier on the incline I could have done 255 or 260 for singles right but I it's okay there's always next time right there's always next time I'll come back next week I gotta go back and do rep work on my incline so I won't really uh, do singles um, I'm also gonna start implementing pause reps on the incline benching because whenever you need pause you know how tough it's gonna get you know and if you want to get stronger man remember one thing guys if you want to get stronger pause reps Pause reps is where it's at, you know, you're gonna get humbled real quick. All right guys, so right now I'm actually, I'm leaving work, it's midnight. My workout, I had to do half of it and then I had to go back home because I had to, I had a, like something with the family 
my mom and my parents and stuff. So I did half of my workout. Right now, literally after work, I have to go back and still finish the other half of my workout. I can't skip it, you know. I really cannot skip the training. Um, I just had a little bit more left. I didn't have a lot, a lot, but I had to do the incline dumbbell press. I had to do some triceps. I, ha I had my accessory lifts basically, and I, and I didn't want to skip out on my accessories, right? I just couldn't skip on my accessories, but yeah, man. Sometimes it's just long day, you know, but um, I didn't want to, as I said, I just didn't want to skip it. Just going there straight from work. Kind of tired a little bit, but um, no excuses, man. Let's go and finish the training. It's almost two o'clock at night. Um, I had to come back after work because I had to finish my session. You know, no excuses, man. You know, I didn't want to half-ass my sessions. And um, today was a was a good chest day. It, it was a good push workout. The session was great. I did. Uh, well, I broke a rep PR on the way to dips. You know, <sighs> two sets of two. It was a. Uh, this is by far the strongest I've been. The bulk is going great. Racing to 200 pounds. Um, but pretty much going on a lean bulk. I really focused on high, on a decent amount of volume today. You know, I did a, it was a heavy session, so heavy sets of two. Then I did a single, uh, like I did singles on the incline. I ended up doing two sets of one rep on the heavy incline bench, 250 pounds, but I could have done um, a little bit more. I could have gone heavier. The 250 kind of felt a little light for me. Uh, and I didn't want to do I didn't want to do doubles on the incline today was just singles. So going back to doing heavy singles on the inclines, we want to bench press three plates on the inclines. So we got to do some heavy singles, you know. Along with that, the weighted dip went well. I'm just kind of exhausted, man. Um, it was a long day. Now I gotta go home, shower, cook dinner. By the time I have my last meal of the day, it's gonna be 3 a.m. You know, sometimes you're gonna get days like that. Sometimes you're gonna get things like that, like nights like that. You know, it's just gonna happen. You know, it happens to almost all of us. You know, when you have a life and you have so many things going on, what else can you do, right? What else can you do? With that being said, man, uh, the weighted session today was really good. I did uh, high reps towards the end, <sighs> paused a couple of my reps and sets. My brain is kind of not. <sighs> on right now work was so work was kind of exhausting you know it was a little exhausting on top of that i had so many things to take care of uh, throughout the day but i'm glad man because discipline equals respect you know coming back after work to finish my session is kind of telling me that i'm a disciplined person i respect myself enough and i'm gonna have to do whatever it takes because as a guy the game is on competition is on man but I'm so proud of myself, you know, I, like I'm tired, I'm exhausted, guys, you know, I'm freaking exhausted and I'm hungry. But I showed up for myself, you know, I showed up for myself after the gym, like, I showed up, you know, the last thing of the day, I showed up for myself. If you can't show up for yourself, don't expect anybody else to show up for you, you know. Me as a friend or as an older brother, whatever you guys want to see me as, this is so important, you know, you can't give what you don't have for yourself first. If you want to love somebody, respect somebody, first start with yourself. First love yourself, respect yourself. It, it really, everything just starts with yourself, man. Everything starts with yourself. I really hope you guys are taking away good points from my videos. You know, not just workout stuff, but a lot of life lessons, you know, because I know you and I can relate. You and I can relate to so many levels to a deeper level actually but you know I'm pretty sure a lot of us watching you guys watching and me telling you guys this a lot of us move at the same vibration pretty much and that's a good thing you know you want to be around people who kind of move at that same vibration as you or who are a little bit above you so that way you can learn something you can level up right that's all life is about right leveling up taking care of yourself taking care of yourself going to the next level sometimes you're going to need help to go to the next level you're gonna to have to figure things out yourself and you might not have the answers but look for people who you believe might have the answers you know I know not really giving you guys a lot of fitness advice right now I just wanted to talk I guess you know I just wanted to talk I spent a lot of time I spent a decent amount of time with myself you know and working on my stuff listening to a lot of podcasts and I do enjoy my company you know I enjoy my company a lot. 
you know, I can stay alone if I want, I can stay, I can do whatever I want, you know, and I realized, the more I started doing that, the more I realized my capabilities as a guy, you know, a lot of times you guys don't know how to stay alone, you guys can't, you guys can't stay in silence or something, you know, that's, it's not a good thing, man. Today's entire session, I trained without any music, you know, I trained without any music, I just went, boom, 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 just wrapped it up, no music, nothing. I just, I was just focused in the zone, you know, I'm just in the zone. You don't really need music. There was a time in my life when I was training early in the morning at 4.30 a.m. and it was super, super cold. I had no music. I had no music. I used to just go and train, sweating, doing burpees in the park. I was skinny. I mean, I'm still skinny. Not as skinny, but kind of skinny, but you get it. Yeah, I was doing burpees in the park. Long time, man. Long time ago. <laughs> With that being said, man, um, I really hope you guys are getting inspired right now by this video and by me sharing this. You know, a lot of us live really normal lives, man. Oftentimes, what you see in camera, that lavish lifestyle for a lot of influencers, is not like that. It's really not like that. Well, with that being said, man, I will see you guys all in my next video. Stay tuned. I'm literally going to go home, work, even though it's 2 a.m. right now. I'm gonna go eat. By the time I go to sleep, it's gonna be probably 5 a.m. But I'm gonna make sure this video is edited and it goes up tomorrow. That's the goal, that's the mission, that's the plan. With that being said, I will see you guys all in my next video. Stay tuned, it's gonna be good. And work hard, you know? Work really hard. You cannot beat somebody who works really freaking hard.